हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल द लेस इज मोर सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एन एडिटोरियल फ्रॉम इंडियन एक्सप्रेस एंड इट इज अबाउट सम पॉलिसी मेजर्स दैट माइट बी टेकन सो आई डोंट नो बट लेट्स स्टार्ट द एडिटोरियल डायरेक्टली द टाइटल ऑफ द एडिटोरियल इज दाल रोटी चीनी both producers and consumers would benefit from policy that is predictable and stable not knee jerk and reactive international food prices have eased considerably from their 2022 peaks the benchmark fao food price index in december was 10.1% below its level 1 year ago and 28% down from its all time high scaled in march 2022 <coughs> after russia's invasion of ukraine but the story of global deflation is contrary to the indian situation where the official consumer food price index inflation ruled at 9.5% in december the domestic inflationary pressures are coming from basic foods pulses cereals and sugar in other words dal roti chini it's not for nothing that the center is worried especially with national election due in hardly 3 months time retail food in food inflation averaged just 0.2% during the year leading to the last lok sabha polls in april may 2019 the narendra modi government knows that food prices matter for voter sentiment the government strategy to rein in food inflation has been a heterodox mix of export and trading curbs along with import liberalization thus exports of wheat non basmati rice white rice sugar and onion have been banned denying indian farmers and agri business the opportunity to benefit from high international prices whether in 2022 or now store stocking limits have been imposed in wheat and pulses for traders processors as well as big chain retailers curbs have been placed on sugar mills with regard to diversion of cane juice and intermediate stage molasses for manufacture of fuel ethanol industrial grade rectified spirit and portable alcohol Simultaneously imports of major pulses and crude edible oils have been allowed at zero or very low duties till March 31 2025 not withstanding all these supply side measures rice is retailing at an indian india average price of 40 rupees per kg meal or her at rupees 150 per kg chana 80 rupees per kg sugar 45 per kg and onion 30 rupees per kg the government approach reflects an excessive pro consumer policy bias such bias apart from being anti producer is not in long term consumer interest either both producer and consumer benefit from policy that is predictable and stable not knee jerk and reactive indian agriculture has been a victim of short termism which has deterred much needed investment in processing cold storage marketing and research such investments will unleash the productive potential of the farm sector providing a more sustainable solution to food inflation post election that should also be the focus of the next government so this was for today let me find out five new words that i can use in my daily conversation as well as writings okay first is producer second is consumer these are very simple words but again revisiting it can uh, help you in uh, using it again and again okay global deflation which means the prices are decreasing in the global scenario which is very contrary to indian situation non basmati white rice
six is reflects seventh is pro consumer policy bias okay so this was for today i hope you would be understanding and do comment in the comment section five new words that you find appropriate for yourself to use in your daily conversation as well as writings okay so till then bye bye